Hmm. That's a wonderful question, and it's a question that everyone is thinking about. You know, the funny thing about this is that everyone knows that uh, Christianity doesn't approve of sex outside of marriage. However, many Christians are actually having sex before marriage because sex is a good thing. It's a gift of God. It's pleasurable. But um, I want to argue that we should still stick to the biblical norms. And here's one reason. You know, if I bought a product and decided to misuse it against the manual that has been given, I will eventually break that product, and that's because um, the designer understands the best use of the product. And it's the same way God designed marriage and uh, he designed sex. And he says, look, there's a way to use it. Why? Well, what is sex really? Sex is a physical expression of a transcendent reality. What is that reality? It's unity. It's when two people come together, share affection for one another, they are binding their hearts together. There's an emotional unity, a spiritual unity that is going on there. And so even when we look at the sexual organs, they are created in a complementary way to be able to fit to become united. And if all things go according to plan, that brings about a child, a child who is the an embodied unity of those two persons. And that's why commitment matters. If you want to have that physical unity with the affectionate unity, the emotional unity, you should express that first and foremost in a legal unity that protects the hearts of the individuals that are there, that protects a child that may come into that, but also reflects this wonderful transcendent reality that is being displayed in two people that are in love.